Welcome to the Merch Minds Podcast, where we discuss everything about the merch by Amazon business and the print on demand industry. Here are your hosts, Glenn and Young. Merch Informer is the number one research program for merch by Amazon. You can do niche research by BSRs, keywords, and even by merchant brand names at your fingertips. You can explore historical data to see exactly what strategies the top sellers are using to succeed. Merch Informer was designed to help streamline your research process and help organize your ideas. Head over to MerchInformer.com for a free three-day trial. And after that, it's just $19.99 per month. Use the coupon code MERCHMINDS for 15% off the entire order. Merch Minds Podcast episode number 80. 80 episodes in. Do you believe that or no? 80 episodes, man. You know, we're, we're going to hit that. We're going to hit that 100 mark here real soon. We've got to have like a special 100 mark tribute show or something. We'll do something, man. We'll the do biggest something. guest okay. ever or something like that. We'll, 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 we'll invite every freaking possible guest that we, have, we ever had. <laughs> like a five hour episode. <laughs> 24 hour marathon. 24 hour marathon, freaking Jerry Lewis telethon type of thing. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. So I'm Glenn Hustler Hacks. This is Young. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Well, you, you're kind of good. You also had. You want to share a little bit about your story today? Ah, oh, man, dude, we were supposed to we were supposed to do that conference call with Kelly. Mm-hmm. I'm driving this morning, and I uh, I, I blow out my tire, and I um, the last couple of hours I've been dealing with that, and um, you know, I got home like about what just an hour ago, and uh, man, it's just it's just a mess. Sweating like an animal. Yeah, no, it was, it was hot outside. Uh, I had to deal with the whole tire situation. Um, my allergies are just, oh, gosh, man, I don't even want to talk about my allergies. This guy's just a hot mess right now. A hot mess. <laughs> uh, so we got some merch news. We have special guest as usual. And, um, of course, we're going to run the numbers. So do you want to talk about the numbers first or want to do the news? Uh, we'll talk numbers first, man. All right, I know you've been um, messaging me throughout the week, like, hey, I'm just going to crap you right now. I not do anything like that. What are you talking about? <laughs> numbers I didn't know, I did know such on. a thing. <laughs> so uh, I'll start off then, and then, <laughs> then you can tell us about your uh, crappy numbers. I, mean, I know they're not even crappy. You're just, like, kind of exaggerating. Um, oh, so, they're crappy. So the last seven days, um, 167 products sold, returned seven and estimated royalties five hundred thirty seven dollars and ninety five cents and earlier in the week i was at like 600 something it was on the way up and then now that i think the mother's day stuff is kind of slowing down now i'm just kind of in that same range um i think the returns the highest i had was like eight but then of course the seven days kind of you know turns over again so right now um yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I mean, I've seen worse days, so no complaints here. It, ha- it was going up. Now it's still kind of steady. So five thirty-seven, uh, five hundred thirty-seven dollars ninety-five cents, and it is three fifty-one. So we'll see. Okay, so my last seven days, and if you guys have been listening for the last couple of weeks, you'll notice, okay, that my numbers are dropping every week. Last seven days, seventy-five shirts, five cancels. Product purchase for one thousand five hundred and thirteen dollars and nine cents, and my estimated royalties is just three forty ninety three. That's three hundred and forty dollars and ninety three cents. So my numbers are dropping, dude. Yeah. Why? So, why? Why do you think? I don't know. I mean, some people say some people are saying um, that merch is back to normal. You know, they're saying they're, they're seeing good numbers. Mm-hmm. I've I've never experienced this, right? I mean, before the whole throttling issue in December, and we talked about this, right? Like, I was always, always single digits. My numbers would just slowly always de- increase, right? Yeah. My numbers all, you know, and we talked about this, in the, you know, my numbers, they're all over the place, right? I'll do, like, freaking 18 sales one day, and then it'll drop to, like, three. And the next day, it'll go up to, like, eight. I'm I'm definitely doing single more single digit days now than double digits, yeah. and when I do double digits, they're like low double digits, like ten or eleven, mm-hmm. right? It's not nineteen or twenty 
like it used to be. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Um, and but like you I have said, been adding shirts from Penji then. I'm still getting fresh designs from Penji. Okay. Um, I just talked to uh, your, your 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 brother um, Jeremy, um, and um, I'm going to try and hire him here this month. Um, um, have him do some some designs for me as well. Okay. Um, we talked on the phone just a couple of days ago. Um, but I don't know if that's the right strategy. Now I think about it. I mean, just just adding a lot of designs. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work out, right? Yeah, we don't know what's going to work out as far as adding more designs, and we're adding on our new merch news that just came out. As far as how long designs are going to stay up there without selling, so that's also um, a new rule change that we're going to talk about. Yeah, but, but <laughs> as as far as my sales are concerned, I don't know what's going on, dude. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's not things are definitely uh, getting worse for me. Um, um, so I need to figure out what I'm doing, and I'm and I'm talking with all kinds of people, uh, figuring out what their strategy is, and um, it's it's frustrating. It's definitely frustrating. That's for sure. If there's the only hope that I have right now is this. Last June, okay, um, that was by far my best month you know, throughout my whole career of doing Merch by Amazon. And June's coming up here real quick. So yeah. we'll see if if June uh, uh, takes off for me this year as well. That's, the, that's my only hope right now. Okay. Um, so preparing for, for June. We're preparing. I'll keep you guys posted on that, um, dude. Before we continue, dude, I, I'm I'm just I need to relay this message to you. Okay, I have a bunch of people telling me, "What's up with Glenn?" <laughs> what like, did they say? Disappeared. He's he's vanished. They're like they're, they're like, "What's up with him?" And my and I always tell him, "Oh man, he's just working on his YouTube channel." <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Pe people are worried about you. <laughs> like, hey, man, is he alive? What's yeah. up? Where's I, he at? I'm alive and well. Um, I'm trying to. Uh, that's one of the things that that um, I've talked about. I think on the live show too is like there's a lot of things going on with like the channel and merch and and eBay and even talking to like Ken. You know, me me and Ken going out of town every month and doing that like different meetups. Especially last month doing the um, um, Florida thing. Mm -hmm. It got to a point where I was like, yeah, this this idea was just not <laughs> it was just not a good idea. Like trying to do three meetups, three cities, one trip. And um, I'm really trying like me and him actually talked about it and try to figure that out. I'm, I'm going to slow down on like going out of town, trying to put all these videos, trying. I think I'm just doing way a lot like so much that I have been kind of disappearing from even some of the basic stuff that I was like really in contact trying to build other things and they're just like too much too many things going on so I, I'll tell you right now one of the people that was asking about you was our good friend Neil from Merch Informer he sent me a message I think it was like yesterday or two days ago we chat all the time and he's like yo man what happened to Glenn I was like hey his, his, his mom grounded him <laughs> he's, a little, he's a little kid he's grounded I know he's grounded and, and even with uh, with the channel, like I've had some ideas, and I've been I've been doing consistently this whole year, like six videos a week, like mm, five to six videos a week. And I'm like, man, I think a lot of the quality part is going down, and it's more quantity. And at the same time, I'm like, man, this is I think it's just getting to a whole new like regular routine that's just like spinning over and over again to where I need to like you know really rethink about things so that's so are you, so are, are you going to cut back on your trips and in and, and your videos is that oh yeah for sure cutting back on the trips cutting back on the meetup part i think we're really just going to focus on like three or four main meetups a year or something and like really make things quality more than just going through them and trying to get all these out because i mean See, that makes stuff in one trip that was ridiculous hey, hey I, I, i've never said this man but that makes more sense because when you told me Several months ago, that you were gonna do like a monthly trip, I was like, "Man, this guy's—he lost his damn mind." <laughs> the, uh, okay, <laughs> that's thing. Okay, well, we're we'll we'll more power to him. But I was like, "There's no way in hell I could do something like that." Um, 
Yeah, so, no, I, I mean, I appreciate that. I need to get back to uh, to um, a lot of the guys that I usually, you know, would talk to even, I mean, even with RJ too, I mean, we talk a little bit more than what we do now. Now I haven't even talked to him in like a good while. So I think um, just trying to, yeah, also get back to, to those type of things. So, mm -hmm. well, um, there's a good possibility that I might be going to Vegas as much as I hate Vegas. <laughs> there's a good possibility possibility that I might be going for the, the licensing expo. There's a bunch of people going, oh, Okay, uh, they're, they're, they're trying to convince me to go. Um, it looks like I'm probably going to go uh, at the moment. Um, when is this? So that's later this month. Oh, okay. It's Thanks. later this month. I've actually already registered for the um, for the conference. Um, I just because it's free, right? You can register for free for the conference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't. Um, I haven't put my flight or 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 hotel or anything. And here's the thing. You know, this I know this is I know this is going to sound silly. But, you know, sometimes it's really hard for me to travel because my dog, yeah. right? This freaking dog is so... I, I told you about my dog, man. He's <laughs> neurotic. He has separation anxiety. So whenever I leave town, like, I, like I, I got to get friends to watch him or, or uh, I got to I gotta put him in uh, boarding. And boarding isn't cheap, man. It's like $60 a night. Oh, yeah. So, um, so you know, I need to figure that out. But... um. Oh gosh! So let's talk about the news. So, um, so Amazon just came out with something, uh, with some news yesterday. What was that? So uh, this is yeah the tenth, which is yesterday. Um, previously, products were kept alive for sale if they received at least one order within the first ninety days of being published. To give your designs more time to make their first sale, we have extended this period to one hundred and eighty days. That is good news for all of us, okay? It seems like the last couple of times Amazon uh, had news, um, they will kick us in our nuts. But finally, they uh, gave us some good news. We now have a half a year, uh, which is a lot of time. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a lot of freaking time. I, so, I Personally, I thought 90 days was like the perfect time. Mm -hmm. I think 180, 180 is kind of pushing it, like... Because if you have a crappy design, Shut your damn then, mouth, okay? if you have if you have a Shut crappy design mouth, and man. you're gonna flood it, I mean, it's just gonna Shh. sit there. Just <laughs> be quiet! Don't, how <laughs> dare you say something like that? <laughs> Shut your mouth, man! Look, a half a year is perfect. 180 days. That's <laughs> that's, 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 that, that's a perfect time. Uh, if you can't sell a shirt within a uh, uh, six months, uh, clearly uh, you need to adjust something. Um, <laughs> Glenn doesn't know what he's talking about. I think he bumped his head earlier. It's fine. Um, so yeah, so it's so good news for 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 content creators. And uh, just just one last announcement before we get into the interview with Duncan. But uh, the Bay Area meetup is happening tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Unfortunately, it's the day before Mother's Day, but that was the only weekend that we had open. Mm -hmm. Christina Romero and I will be hosting. Um, by the time this podcast comes out, um, um, it'll be over, but tomorrow is the meetup. I'll keep you guys posted on on uh, uh, how that turns out. But you know what? Any, anytime we have a meetup, I mean, it's always super cool, right? I mean, we, we, we meet some really good people and, and every, everyone's enthusiastic. And so I know... I know it's going to be fine. And Christina's super cool. Yeah. So so that's tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Let's get into today's topic, today's show. This week's show, um, this guy's been all over the place this past week. It's funny because for like the longest time, he was like, look, man, I kind of want to stay under the radar. And all of a sudden, he comes out of the closet, and he's just all over the place, okay? <laughs> he's going to talk about Princey. He's going to talk about Orbit Kit. And um, uh, the guys under twenty thousand tier on merch, which I don't know, I don't even think Ken Reels under twenty thousand tier. So it'll be really interesting to see uh, and and hear about how he got to the twenty thousand tier. So here's Dennis Duncan. All right, guys, this this man needs no introduction because apparently he's been all over the place this week. He's been doing everyone else's show. I think he's also going to do Oprah later this week. Um, 
<laughs> Freaking going to do Mori Povich and all that. But Duncan, <laughs> hey, welcome to the show, my man. Yeah, man. Uh, I couldn't get on Oprah today, so they offered this show. Hey, dude, <laughs> we're, we're, we're 20 times better than Oprah. We don't, we don't give away free cars, though. That's okay, man. Hey, you know what you always do? You always give, a, give away like a Matchbox car or something. I got hey dude, I like that. <laughs> they're, they're, they're they're so much cheaper, and I tell you what, the the way my sales are, man, I, that's about all I can afford right now. Dude, you could literally be like, hey, show up. We give a car away every show, and it could be just a match. <laughs> dude, are you talking about the bars you could get online with that one, man? People be watching that all the time. I know, huh? <laughs> so, a free car. We gave it away a free car. <laughs> so, so um, this is your first time meeting uh, Glenn, right? Hustler Hacks, a.k.a. Hustler Hacks. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I've seen you guys around. Uh, I mean, y'all and you and I have talked a few times, but I've seen Glenn around and you guys podcast and stuff. So, But, yeah, that's the first time we were officially met. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, so, Duncan, dude, tell me, dude, you're on the 20K tier. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Dude, tell us about that, man. How, how long, tell us, just tell us about merch and, 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 uh, your, your 20 K tier. Like, I mean, how'd you do it? Um, man, people get confused and think that the tier really matters. You know, um, there's guys out there doing that are, that are doing way better than I am that, you know, are the six, seven, 8,000 tier. Um, mm-hmm. but I'll tell you how I got there pretty quick was that whenever merch first opened, I, um, they had me capped at like 500 or something. And I kept, this is before they were really, you know, crunching down on the tiers and stuff. And they didn't really know what was going on. So every time I'd hit a threshold, I'd send them an email, you know, cause I had a boatload of designs, um, backed up from where I was doing Teespring stuff. So this was back in the day when, you know, merch was, I was getting some, some feedback from them and they were actually giving us feedback a little bit, you know, not too much. So, you know, I would just send them an email and I would say, Hey, this is exactly what I would say. I was like, Hey, I'm a good contributing member of the Amazon ecosystem. Um, my designs are all compliant. I'm not here to do anything other than, you know, add these existing designs to the platform that I already have. Uh, if you guys would consider bumping me up, you'll notice that I'm maxed out and I'm selling shirts. If someone, you know, whenever they get around to reviewing my account, please take me into consideration. And I just left it at that. And, you know, I think that Amazon wants to know that you're, um, you know, I mean, look, man, at the end of the day, whoever's reading these emails on the other end is a real person. They're just like all three of us. Mm -hmm. If you come at them and be like, why aren't you bumping me up? And why aren't you like, that's not going to get a good reception, you know? Of course. So I just kind of go in with an album branch and, and they teared me up pretty quick, man. Uh, I was at, let's see, by 2016, I was, I was capped out at 5k or uh, December of 2016. I was capped out at 5k and that was my best month ever. And I, I, with 5,000 designs, dude, I did 30k that month. You're a sick man. (laughs) So 30k. Yeah. So I was like, Dude, if I've got 5,000, and, and remember, I am I have so many designs that I couldn't, I had more than 5,000. I, I couldn't get the other 10 that I have in stock, you know, because when they throttled everybody, I just kept designing. So, or having my designers design too. So, by the time, that, I thought to myself, by the time they open this thing back up, I, I mean, I'm going to have another four, five, 6,000 designs on top of the two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 I already have. So, I would be you know, 15,000 designs deep with five live. And I thought, oh, 2017, if I did 30, oh, I'm going to do 100. You know, mm. wasn't the case. I did about a third of what I did. In, in 2017, I did about a third in, on December what I did in 2016. Um, That's nuts. So, you know, and look, man, they, um, I could probably be doing a little bit more sharing on Pinterest and stuff like that. And, Uh, You know, like there's guys out there that are, I won't mention their names, but they're doing a lot better than I am because they're really, really working it hard. And to be honest, they got a little bit burnt out. So to circle back around to what your original question was, is that the tier doesn't really matter. 
<laughs> it doesn't. But no, here's the thing. The reason I'm asking is because about a year ago, like the 20,000 tier was like a myth, right? Like everyone was saying, is there even such a thing? Because because like the highest tier that everyone even heard of at the time was a 10,000 tier, right? Yeah. And no one ever even heard of a 20,000 tier. You're under the radar. No one ever even, even heard of you. And then all of a sudden you come out and you're like, I'm under a 20,000 tier. And everyone just went nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I remember that post. And I was at the 16,000 tier at that point. Mm -hmm. So I posted, hey, well, there is a tier beyond 10, and it's 16, and I'm in it, you know? And so, yeah, I just, you know, I'm look, in our community, we share these types of successes. It's not like you're going to go and if you've got a firefighter friend, you're not going to sit around and go, dude, how much do you make every year? I mean, but guys like us, that's what we do, you know? Yeah. How you doing? What tier are you at? Uh, how much did you pull in? Like like RJ and Matt, those guys, they always talk about what they did for that week. You know, what are your numbers for the week? And yeah, no, we do the same thing. We talk about our numbers and um, we try we, you know, we try to be as transparent as possible. Yeah, but you know what, man? It's people that aren't in, in the world that we're in. It's like my girlfriend, my brother. It's like they all, they don't say that it's weird, but I know that they think that sharing those types of things are weird, you know? <laughs> so... And not, not, not just them, but I mean, we don't go into, you know, and get into a casual conversation. Like if I ran into one of you guys at an event or something, we would talk about what tier you're at. And I, I would say to you, hey, man, like at that tier and with that, hang on, I got to plug in my computer here. At that <laughs> tier, um, and with the number of designs that you have live. I mean, what are you pulling in a week? And you guys wouldn't be offended by that. No, it's a it's a common question amongst the community, right? It's, it's kind of like um, if you meet if you meet someone for the first time out on the streets, like one of the first common questions is, "Oh, what do you do for a living?" Right? Right. 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 So, so it's kind of like the same common question within the community. You know, what tier are you on? And and it's not you know it's not like they're being nosy, right? It's just it's just you know they're 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 curious. They're they're they want to network. They want to maybe possibly work with you or something. You, you just never know. Yeah, no, and I've never been one to, I mean, I, when I was in all those groups and before I started chiming up, I was, you know, I just laid in the background because, I mean, I'm just trying to do what I do, you know? Yeah. And But what I realized is that as I came out of the woodwork a little bit, it, I, I think that other people can benefit from seeing that they're, are other tiers and that by a lot of hard work and due diligence that they too can get there. Um, it's like today I had a girl that bought my software, Princey, right? Mm -hmm. And she was, she, we'd gone back and forth in the support group and she finally messaged me. This is today, but she's gone through it for a few days now and trying to get it installed. And most of the times when there's an issue with the installation, it has to do with the machine that they're on. It has nothing to do with Princey, like the antivirus or something's popping up and it's just not working for me. But she messaged me and she's like, hey, I, I want a refund. I can't get this to work. It's not worth my time. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, no, because normally, like on a t-shirt refund, I'm just like, refund, refund, refund. I don't want to talk them into it, you know? Of course. But I wanted to tell her, I told her this, and, and her name's Teresa and I can't remember her last name. And I said to her, I was like, hey, look, don't quit, man. This is a $10 tool. Right. This isn't like a, it, but it's really a rocket ship is what it is. You know, mm -hmm. I said, it's a $10 tool. I, I don't know as much about PCs as I should, and I can't fix it for you myself, but my developer can fix it for you. And it's more than likely based upon what you've shared with me thus far is, is a configuration with your machine. I said, his rate $75 an hour. If it takes 30 minutes and he'll charge you half, you know, but he will be able to fix whatever it is. That, it, that you're having problems with. So I think that, and, and he's in the process now of getting this fixed for her. And she was like, oh, thank you. I was about, thank you. I was about ready to give up. And I was like, look, man, don't give up. It's just, this, these obstacles that you're experiencing can be overcome by just throwing a little bit of cash at it. And I said to her, I said, I don't want you to give up. And if it's a money issue, I will pay for it because Princey will be worth that much to you and you can repay me later. Mm. I said, it's more important that you don't give up. Yeah. Like, well, thank you. I don't want you to pay for it, but 
now that you will help me on getting this resolved, I, I, I'm going to do it. And I said, no problem. I'll put you in touch with, I've got her in touch with, now they're working to get it fixed. So point being is that by coming out of the woodwork, I think we can all help people a little bit because there's not this big, I saw somebody the other day, it's at like the 200,000 tier or a hundred thousand tier or something. I think that was a joke. Oh, was it? Yeah, I think that was a joke. Because okay. I was like, whoa, man, I'm not going <laughs> my tier level anymore. <laughs> I mean, dude, and second of all, here's the other thing too, dude. How do you have so many shoes back there behind you? That's what <laughs> that is the fucking question everyone asks him. <laughs> dude, he's, it's like Foot Locker back there. Glenn, <laughs> to answer his question, everyone asks him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just for like uh, eBay and other platforms. I'm just wow. Selling. Hey, young man, don't believe that. He's got money stacked up in those things. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's the Mexican mafia, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, but hey, man, if we all come out of the woodwork a little bit and help people out, I mean, I know for me, man, it's pretty cool whenever I can help somebody and they can make just enough money to, like, I mean, a couple hundred bucks a month to a lot of people can pay their electric bill or, or keep their water on or something like that. So. Mm -hmm. It's the small victories, you know, and it's the stories that come along with it. That and isn't, isn't that a good feeling, too? Like, knowing that you help someone, and then they come back to you and say, look, man, uh, uh, you know, you, 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 you've helped me with my journey, and, and I was able to accomplish something that I wasn't able to do before. And I mean, it just makes you feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it does, man. And look, we all have a bright light that we can shine. Uh, and And... Sometimes whenever we're going through struggles and frustrations and, and maybe just configuring something on your computer. And, and a lot of us operate, you know, on our own, alone in our apartments. And it can be frustrating. You don't know where to turn. You can look on Google for solutions and stuff. But look, man, it's easy to, like, get frustrated and give up. But we all have a little light that we can shine out. And as soon as that light starts to get dim enough and, and you give up, then all hope is lost, man. And then you're like on to the next thing. And, but you could have been right there on something. So whenever somebody comes to me and their light's getting dim, I'm like, whoa, 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 no, no, no. There is a big bright flashlight over here that you have in your hands. You just don't know where the switch is on it. Let me show you where the switch is. And you yeah. can shine that back on yourself and then you can shine it on others, you know? So we all have that. It's just some are more uh, willing to let it shine than others, you know? So we have to bring that out of other people. Yeah. Glenn, did you have any questions? Yeah, I guess to follow back on that too, like I get this email once in a while. I've gotten them how many times recently, at least this year, but it's kind of like merch by Amazon or selling on eBay, other platforms, having a YouTube channel. I've gotten this email where it's like, what is the easiest one to do? What do you mean? <laughs> I get this question like several times. It's like, what is the easiest one to do? Because that's the one that people want to do. Because because they don't want to do the work exactly. See, and and, and that's and that's part of the issue, right? And we, and we talked about this in the past. Um, uh, so 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 one thing we talked about, Duncan, is you know when people claim uh, that merch by Amazon is passive income. Like oh. I hate when people say that because it's not passive income, right? Well, I'm over here. I mean, it's not manual labor, but we're we're still phys you know physically doing something. Yeah, no, we are. And look, dude, I, I can like physically leave for a month. And still be bringing in fifteen hundred to two grand a week every week. Yeah, I mean, but I, there's a lot of work that I put in leading up to that that it will, allows me to do that. And look, we're all inherently lazy people. Humans by default are lazy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, look, if we weren't lazy, then no one would have invented the wheel. I mean, the wheel makes things easier, you know. So the wheel makes everyone's life easier. So we're all looking for the easy button and. I, look, if somebody's saying what's the easiest one to sell on, valid question. Uh, I think a better question would be which one's the most user friendly to get going the quickest. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I guess I mean everyone's in a totally different situation. But I guess kind of trying. Let's go to like the opposite end. Me and Yang have talked about this too. You talked about you did get a little burnt out at one point. Mm -hmm. What did you do to get yourself out of that? I guess little mode where you said you were burnt out. Well, it, 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 it goes back to networking, right? Like, um, Duncan, and I think, you know, you, you know, we talk all the time, Duncan, but, um, you know, a few weeks ago, I was burnt out, and then it was just, just networking and talking to people, and then, and then hearing Mike Guo's story, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that, that, that fucking lit a fire under my ass, and it got me back up and, you know, focusing on, on other things now, uh, you know, try, try and doing, doing the merch business, you know, from different angles. But, um, but yeah, man, I just got sick and tired of, 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 of doing design, uploading them, and then having them removed after 90 days. Uh, I just got sick of it, right? I wasn't getting anywhere. My numbers are dropping. I was frustrated. And I'm still frustrated. But you know what? Um, um, you know, talking to people like you and Mike and, you know, hundreds of other people in the community, man, I'm just, you know, I, I kind of got my mojo back. Yeah. And, no. and, and, and Glenn, you sounded like you were getting frustrated too for, you know, at one point. No, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, for me, man, I, I do the same thing you guys do. I, I take a little break from merch and then I'll talk to people or, you know, get online and be chatting with different people and, you know, going and watching videos and, you know, trying to get re-inspired, if you will, you know? Yeah. So, you know, it's, um, sometimes you need to take a break, man. You do need to take a break, man. Cause I remember one night, um, cause you know, I, in, in the past I would, I would do most of my designs and I remember like, I would just have a brain fart and I would just sit in front of my computer for two hours and I wouldn't do anything. I just sit there because I couldn't think of anything. And I remember one night I just, I just, you know, just got up and left and just, you know, took a break, came back. And all of a sudden the brain just started working again. Right. So sometimes, like you said, we, we do, we do need a break, man. Absolutely. There's no doubt about that. Uh, what else do I do to get my brain refocused? Um, I don't drink anymore, so I don't do that. I used to do that. Be like, ah, you know, I don't need to break. <laughs> Good for you, man. Um, so, man, I just, I'll tell you, man, I, I've tried to focus on other projects outside of merch and the, you know, the different software tools that yeah, I'm yeah, on my own and that I'm a part of, you know. And and let's talk about that, man. So, 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 I mean, first of all, we will talk about Princey. Mm -hmm. Now, now is the Orbit Kit? Are we allowed to talk about that? No, you can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, tell us about Princey. What's Princey? Um, for any for anybody that's getting started out there, you know, there's I, I say merch by Amazon is the easiest one to get started on. Uh, but I would say that since Printful has integrated with Etsy, then that would be the second easiest as far as organic traffic. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Uh, what Princey does is you set up a, a Printful account. You guys should put up an affiliate link for that because I think you guys get a certain percentage off of whatever. Uh, you guys should put that in your group um, for yourself, not for me. Um, <laughs> I mean, your buddy needs to buy more shoes, right? He, no. he needs more shoes. <laughs> he needs more shoes. <laughs> he, 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 he's like the male, the male Kardashians, right? They, they just need shoes. Young, young. If you put the camera down by your feet and you're not wearing shoes, we know who's got them. <laughs> you're <laughs> barefooted right now. I, I'll show you the bottom of my foot. <laughs> young needs shoes. Yeah. I need shoes. Yeah, so you can, uh, just like, uh, let's see, who else is it? I mean, you can sell shirts from Shopify into Amazon Seller Central, right? So you upload them to Shopify and you can push them over to Amazon. Uh, with Printsy, which is the software tool that I created to, I just created it for myself initially. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, it's going to be, because I had my VAs uploading to Etsy and I was like, oh, this is a hassle. And they weren't liking it. They just wanted to get back to designing. So I talked to my developer. I was like, hey, man, can you build me something for this? He's like, yeah, take me a month or so. So he builds it. And I started it out just as my own tool. And what it does is it'll upload, you can take 50, 100, 25, 5, 10, 1,000, however many you want. And you can, put your designs in a folder. And here's the great thing. If you're using designs on Merch by Amazon, those are 4,500 by 5,400. Those exact same dimensions designs work for Etsy and Printful. So you can take the exact same designs, put them in a folder in your desktop or Dropbox, set up everything within the user dashboard of Printsy, and then hit go. And it will go into that folder and it'll, it'll, it'll log into Printful and it'll go into the folder where your designs are stored and it'll grab the design and there's a specific way that you have to label your files um, in order for, because Princey's intuitive enough to know, okay, the file name is cool grandma shirt, best grandma shirt dot PNG. It knows to strip out the dot PNG or any dashes or hyphens or you know whatever. It strips all that stuff out and it uses that as your product name. 
And then within the user dashboard of Princey, you know, you got your product description, your tags, and all that stuff. So it basically will upload these for you, just like a human would do, but it moves a lot quicker and it doesn't make any mistakes. And then once they go into Printful, then they're Printful, without any interference from me, pushes them over to Etsy in draft mode. Then you can go over to Etsy and you can batch approve them by selecting Printful as your print partner, and then whether or not you want to auto renew them or whatever, and then you can make them live in the Etsy marketplace. So it basically, Princey uh, will, will, will replace your need for a virtual assistant. Or if you have a virtual assistant, they can actually run it and then go back to what they're doing. Right. No, you, you, you actually showed this, showed, showed this to me about a month ago, and it was really cool. Um, now, I, um, I think right now you're doing what? Just a couple, couple of shirts. I think you might have some tank tops at the moment. No, no, we've got five things now. We've got Bella Unisex 64. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, the Gildan. Then we got the Bella mm -hmm. Canvas Unisex. Then we got a, a tank top. We've got that new V-neck that Printful came out with. Nice. We got baby onesies. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a poster. Okay, cool, cool. And, and, and I'm sure you're going to be adding more to it, right? Maybe. We'll see. I, I think we might add a mug or something. Okay. But the one thing we're going to do is, and this isn't, I, I keep saying these on all these shows. I even told Oprah and Maury Povich this week. <laughs> as, uh, this isn't false scarcity. This is, uh, you know, next week I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bundle the software with something. Uh, so if you buy X, you get this for a certain price. Um, so it's not going to be nine ninety nine forever, and and that's probably right. in next week sometime. So uh, you know, but, but, but if they buy it today, they're locked in at that price. Yeah, forever. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh but yeah, no, no, no. I, I saw it, man. It, it was cool. I saw it when, when you showed it to me. It was cool. Um, and um, but um, just just uh, I just I, I do want to clarify. This is for PCs only, right? That's correct. But here's the deal. If you're busy in your business, then you have to have a VA. So you're having a VA upload your merch by Amazon account, or if you want to get into Etsy, then you got to have them uploading through Printful by hand into Etsy, right? So your cheap VA is going to be you know, four or five hundred dollars a month. That's like three dollars an hour, 40, 40 hours a week. That's four hundred and eighty dollars, right? Right. So me, I'm a Mac guy. I've got two Macs, and there's one sitting over there behind me. Mm -hmm. Three. There's another one in my bedroom over here. But um, what I do is I just went out and bought. I've got three Windows PCs running in the basement, and therefore Etsy, and I have a, a Sunfrog software as well um, that will upload for you. And I have a dedicated Windows PC running these things for me that um, it doesn't bog down my Mac. Now you, now you can run it on a Mac with the you know virtual Windows or parallels, yeah. like that. But if you spend three hundred dollars and just get a decent Windows based Windows ten computer, um, it won't bog down your computer, and you're already ahead because you would have paid your VA five hundred dollars for that month anyway. Now you don't need that VA anymore. It's like having a dedicated server, basically. I would say go ahead and spend the three hundred bucks because in the long run you're gonna you're gonna save money because you you uh, because the VA is no longer needed. That's right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's 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 cool, man. So so we'll we'll, we'll definitely have that in the the show notes. Now tell us about the big one, the Orbit Kit. Yeah. Orbit Kit, man. Um, well, that one is uh, Jeff and Ray, and those guys are the developers and owners of it. And they came to Aaron and I uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, Jeff and Ray, a little background on those guys. I mean, these guys are real cats, man. I, and, and, I, and I met Jeff, yeah. Remember we did a live uh, uh, a live hangout? Yeah, no, they're super cool guys, real dudes. They built a whole gear launch platform. Uh, I think Jeff did something with Merck for M-E-R-C-K for some human papillon virus type of thing, built their whole system. So these guys are used to building real solutions for things that have real problems, you know? So it's not, you know, Aaron and I didn't create this. Aaron and I didn't go over and get some outsourcers in India and build this thing. That's not what we did. Uh, Jeff and Ray came to us and said, uh, they actually, uh, we were connected through Mike at Gear Launch. And Mike Shell's a good guy. And so Jeff and Ray left Gear Launch and Mike Shell said, hey, these guys left, but I think if you guys met them, they're, they're going to try to build something that you guys might be able to use. And I think you guys would make a good match. 
they're not t-shirt sellers, they're developers. So we got to talking and, you know, there was some synergy there. And so they were like, what, what problems are you guys seeing? And I was like, Hey man, if I had a way that I could take all of my t-shirt designs that I put on merch by Amazon and get them on Redbubble, Spreadshirt, you know, Teespring, Cafe Press, Zazzle, whatever. Because if I had one place I could drop them and just hit go, that would be amazing. I said, there's so many people that want it, but it's been tried. People have tried to build it. It's just, it's, it's a massive project, right? So these guys have taken a year and a half to do this. A year and a half. Yeah. So, you know, there's been other people. I think you might have even messaged me and said, hey, there's this, this other thing that came out. Dude, someone out of the blue sent me something. I don't even know. Remember, Glenn? I think you got the yeah. same message, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, here's the deal. Some, someone that, sent me that message. And and I and I sent it to you, and I was like, "Hey, man, I think someone's already trying to come out with a product." Yeah, I went and looked at it. It's not a set it and forget it situation. This one's a set it. Okay. This one's where you go, you know, you drag all your designs over, and you drop them in there, you know, in different batches, and you can load that thing up with thousands of designs, and it'll just drip out. Now you just go about your business. You're not doing anything. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've been beta testing it. Remember for really? the last couple of months, I've been talking about it, dude. And when I mentioned it, people been, uh, uh, they've been sending me messages, dude. They're like, I need to get in. They're like, I don't care how much it costs. <laughs> I need to get in. Uh, uh, how do I get in? I'm like, Hey, I can't promise you anything. You know, I was like, you know, I'm kind of hush hush about it, but yeah. I'll let you know when it's officially being launched. And, and obviously, you know, we're here today. Now we're, we're officially announcing it. Um, Glenn, did you have any questions about it? No, I'm I'm just listening at this point. I want to know more and more about it. Oh, dude, yeah. So, so I've been beta testing it, um, and in fact, uh, uh, if you got if you guys heard a couple of months ago, I was bitching about how Cafe Press rejected one of my designs. Mm -hmm. it, it was it was dude Duncan. I don't know if I ever told you this, dude. Cafe Press rejected one of my designs when I was beta testing the app. Um, it wasn't because of the app, but Cafe Press came back and said, "Oh, your your one of your designs violated our trademark policy." I'm like, "What the hell? Booty uh, ass Cafe uh, Press, man! Ain't nobody even shop on Cafe Press." Yeah, dude, they're, they're they're good for twenty or thirty bucks a month, you know. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." No, but look, all of those platforms have uh, like Google image recognition. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the return the the rejections that I get on all of those platforms are because of I'll have a, like a nurse shirt that, or a doctor shirt that's got a red cross in it, and mm -hmm. it's like the red cross uh, emblem. Mm -hmm. So their image detection software is picking that those things up and rejecting them. Uh, so so it sounds like it's, it's doing its job yeah, a, little, yeah. a little too good. Yeah, <laughs> and for those other platforms where there's you know where the margins are decent, and I'm like, well, I definitely want this shirt in that platform. I, I reply to them and say the shirt's not infringing. You know, somebody manually review it, yada yada. Usually, they reinstate it. Reinstate it. However, on Cafe Press, I'm like, I could care less. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, um, since I've been beta testing it now, uh, you guys added two more platforms. Yes. Yeah, man. There's uh, been greenlit with looks like Zazzle. Zazzle. That's fourteen hundred. Yeah. If you have one design, you can upload it in the Zazzle and you're going to get it on 1400 different products. That's one design. One design, 1400 products. Is that nuts, Glenn? No, that's out of control. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple others that are ones we're beta testing right now. It looks like it's working right. And then there's another one that uh, is coming on board here shortly. Um, okay. And, and, and look, the, the evolution of this whole thing is going to be um, that Look, Merch by Amazon is crushing people, man. I mean, they're crushing guys like Cafe Press. They're crushing Teespring. They're crushing Spreadshirt. And what we want to do with OrbitKit is we want to build a platform where these companies understand that we're building a real tool here. We're not trying to violate anybody's terms of service. We're keeping it manageable. We're also bringing on some of the biggest sellers in the industry, in the print-on-demand industry, back to your platform. So it's important for us and for them to know that, hey, play ball with us. Mm -hmm. We're policing things on our end. We're going to give you great designers and designs and um, 
Well, let us do what we do well, which is you know, Jeff and Ray program and code. Aaron and I have relationships with guys like you and Glenn and um, Anthony and stuff like that. And there's other guys out there that we haven't hit up yet that we'll be like, hey, guys, bring you over to this platform because it's going to make your life easier. And then the likes of Teespring and Redbubble and all these guys will see that, hey, this is a real tool. Uh, they're doing something good for us, and it's making it easier for our users. And, yeah, we're, that's where we're going with it. And it's, it's slowly starting to happen. Um, no, yeah, no, absolutely. Like I said, I've, I've been messing with it now for a couple of months now, and um, you know, it's it's had its glitches. I'm not going to lie, but it's like I said, it's, it's it was in the beta phase. Now these guys are ready to launch. Um, the webinar is what the 17th. Yeah, I think next Thursday. And you know what, dude? We were going to try to launch in March, right? And we got all you guys on board. There was that's no right. That's right. So now, yeah, no, we did a conference call. I remember that. And now we're two months out, two months later, and we're just now fixing all those bugs and Jeff and Ray got it all sorted out. So, you know, we're, look, there's going to be bugs. Okay. Absolutely. But all of the things that were occurring have been fixed and we were smart enough and also respectful enough to anyone that any existing customer or any future customer to know, okay, we got to fix these things before we can cut it loose. You know, we don't want to onboard people and then have them have a bad experience. It's got to mm -hmm. be a user experience and it's got to be affordable and, you know, people got to get something out of it. Otherwise, it just causes a customer service nightmare is what it does. And then the word spreads. They're like, oh, it sucks. There's too many bugs and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, it kills the business. But hopefully that's not the case with this. I, I think we've been – Jeff and Ray have done an amazing job doing it so far uh, and, and will continue to do so. Um, and I, I think that, uh, you know, we've kind of limited the likelihood of uh, additional hiccups along the way here. But with any of these platforms, inherently there's always risk. So just know going in, there's inherent risk. And once everything is greenlit 100%, then everything should work out fine. Yeah, and, and if there are glitches, guys, you know, you know don't, there's no need to get all pissed. Reach out to support. Let them know, hey, this is happening. Uh, like I said, I, I, I met Jeff. He's here in San Francisco. We're supposed to meet up for lunch in the near future because um, he's just an hour away from me. Um, he's and cool cat, man. Yeah, he's a cool guy, and um, I'm sure those guys, you know, if, if there's any glitches, and you guys let them know, they'll take care of it. But um, the 17th is the webinar, dude. I'm, dude, I'm hearing all kinds of crazy things. Now, is it just for a hundred people, or, or you guys are just gonna open it to everyone, or, or what's the deal? Let me look and see how many have signed up thus far. 692 have signed up so far. So 700 people signed up. Yeah. Um, we, all 700 people wanted to buy, buy the uh, uh, Orbit kit on the, on the uh, 17th, would they be able to? We're not going to let them because that's not going to be a good customer experience. Okay. So, so you are going to limit it then? We are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, so if you guys did sign up, just know, uh, you know, they are going to limit um, how many uh, you guys can purchase, so it's 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 going to be. It won't be more than a hundred. I can tell you that for certain. Okay. Um, the and that's a smart move. That's the right way to do it. Yeah, I'm, and you know what, dude, we we might get in the middle of it when people are trying to check out and be like, "Woo!" You know, stop. You know, yeah. Five hundred people might try to buy. Yeah, we we may have to. You know, we're we're putting in. Uh, preventive measures to, you know, we've notifying the, the payment processor and, and, you know, there shouldn't be any problem with the hosting. It's on the, the Google servers and all that. I mean, Jeff and Ray know, know all that stuff. So yeah. Aaron and I have told those guys, hey, a lot of people signed up for this thing. Originally, the webinar was going to only be for, for 100 people. It's going to be capped at 100. And as you guys started hitting it, it's like I was messaging. I was like, hey, guys, we're going to have to open this up to at least 500. You know, it's 600, let's just call it 700 people registered. I mean, between me, you, and Glenn, we all know that 700 people are not going to show up. No. If we get lucky, I think 200 or 300 might show up if we get lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think there's enough demand out there for this uh, tool that very well could be 500 people show up on that webinar. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I mean, again, guys, if you guys don't, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, webinar on the 17th uh, uh, Duncan and the developers they're going to show you how to upload 20 designs on what 5,000 products yeah 
20 designs on 5,000 products across various platforms outside of merch. So if merch is, is being funky for you right now, this might be a good opportunity and a solution to make money outside of merch. Um, I think that's super cool. I'm excited. Dude, I'm going to be watching it um, with everyone else. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, just just so you know I'm not pulling your leg, let me just send you the screen capture so you know. Uh I'm not in, implying that you think that. I'm just saying that. So, look, man, I'm a, I'm a transparent cat, you know? Dude, I believe you, man. I believe you, man. I believe in you. <laughs> I mean, you, you can click on that link. There's 692 registrants, all right? So, there's... No, it does say 692. Glenn, can you verify? Let's see. Open up. There you go. Yes, sir. Okay. 692. Oh, look, man. I... We, we all came up in the internet marketing world and like, with, look, man, I love Frank Kern. That dude's awesome, you know. Uh, but, you know, the, the whole Ferrari, you know, flashy. <laughs> it's like, we're not those guys, man, you know. And it's like, I'm not, I don't want to lead somebody to some tool that under a false pretense of that they're going to get rich, you know, and we never said that, by the way. No, no, no. Yeah, no. we never, we never said that. We're just saying that the uh, uh, Orbit oh. Kit has is providing you guys an opportunity to get your products or multiple products within minutes. No, no, no. I, I wasn't implying that you were saying that. I'm just saying that us, like me, you, and Glenn, mm -hmm. you guys don't strike me as guys that'd be like, "We're gonna get rich." <laughs> it's not that, and and even with the Princey software that I'm selling, it's like. I made a video of it, dude, and I just threw up one of the worst looking sales pages ever. <laughs> I mean, it's so bad. Wow. My friend Aaron was like, dude, are you going to do anything better? I'm like, no, I'm going anti internet marketing. It's a tool. Watch it. Right. If you like it, read three lines and some testimonials and then six bullet points, and that's what it does, man. There's nothing fancy about it. And yeah. Jeff and Ray are like that, too. They, they you know, they're, they're not. We're not out to be like, well, we, you're going to get the Ferrari. And nah, we're, we're, we're not those guys, man. You know? No, no. It's, it's a cool tool, Orbit Kit is. And, um, no false scarcity here. There's 700 people registered. Uh, the maximum uh, you know, attendees on it's 500. We are going to limit it to 100. We're, we will cut it off if it, if it goes crazy. Um, and look, if you get in and you don't need onboarding, there's, there's tools on the inside and videos and things like that, that'll walk you through the entire process. So I mean, you can literally that day, uh, buy and get started. And the next day have 20 different designs going out to all these different platforms or with, within a few hours, you know? Mm -hmm. No, no, absolutely. I've, I've messed with it guys. I'm telling you firsthand. Um, um, I've done it. It worked. RJ, RJ has done it more than I have. Um, he's definitely getting sales with it. Um, um, but uh, yeah, I think we've all messed with it. it, it it's a um, it's a cool, cool uh, app. I think it, it'll benefit benefit anyone uh, that's that's um, utilizing other pods outside of Amazon. It really is super cool. Sure, sure. So. So cool, man. Hey, thanks for being here, man. Um, I know you You said you have dinner plans. Yeah, and I'm going to go meet my girl and going somewhere for somebody's birthday or something. I, nice. A friend nice. Of mine, so. nice. But, uh, hey, do, do you remember the last time you, we talked? You were telling me about the honey for my allergies? Yeah. Someone else said the same thing. And, so, and, and, and let me guess. You see, didn't see, take my advice the first time. No, right? I didn't take your advice because I thought you were BSing me. No. <laughs> Okay, so so and then and then this lady told me she's like, oh, what you gotta do is you gotta go to the local farmers market and get the local honey. I was like, damn, Duncan told me that freaking three weeks ago. <laughs> hey, Glenn, Glenn, you you know what Yong is right now? <laughs> hey, have you ever heard of an ask hole? <laughs> no, uh, if right. somebody that asks a lot of questions and seeking an answer to it, but they're an asshole about it, so they're, they're like, like they'll ask somebody. And that person will give them the solution and be like, the pot of gold is over there behind that door, and here is the key. And they'll be like, no, 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 that key don't work. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 it's over there behind the door. Here's the key. Go get it. There's some there for you. Bring me some of it, too. And they're like, ah, no, I don't believe that. <laughs> but even ask home. <laughs> hey, hey, but you know what? I'm going to try it, man. Um, we have no, a farmer's market here uh, this tomorrow. 
I learned that by I was on the I was in the music business for years, and I toured all over the U.S. Man, and it was not uncommon for me whenever I would go through different pockets in the U.S. I would pick up local honey, so that as we were touring, I could get me a scoop of that honey, you know, a month out during the summer before I went through a certain region of the of the country. And what happens is is the bees that are pollinating the flowers, they're you know. The, the, the pollen from the flowers getting stuck on the bees, their legs and feet and their body. So whenever they go to build their honeycomb, all of that pollen and stuff is being processed in the, in the beehive uh, and in the honeycomb. So there are natural antibodies that are building up within that honey. So if you take small doses of it, it's no different than getting a shot for the flu. I mean, they're injecting you with the flu. Uh, exactly. Yeah, all you're doing is, is ingesting this honey that's local to that region that will build up the antibodies in your system to, you know, deter any type of uh, allergic reaction or allergies at all. I'm going to do it, man. Dude, we, I need to go get we, my... We, I, <laughs> we, I'm <laughs> telling you right now, man, we have the local farmer's market here about two blocks away tomorrow. I'm going to go check it out. Do I need to get my stethoscope out and, like, my, my, my scrubs and stuff, and we'll sit down and have a conversation? <laughs> you're going to come over and tell me to bend over? <laughs> 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 Listen, uh, Young, I know you're having problems with your allergies, but really why I'm here is you need a prostate exam. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got my Flonase for the time being. So. All right, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, do that. It'll help you, I'm telling you. All right, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check it out, man. Well, hey, Dunk, it's always a pleasure talking to you, man. Thanks so much for being here. I know you have dinner plans. Um, let's talk next week uh, sometime before the uh, actual webinar. Yeah, and um, hey, man, share the Princey link. Share you guys have your own webinar link for the uh, for the Orbit Kit. Um, anybody out there in your tribe that needs any help or wants to join my group, wants to learn more about Princey and Etsy and you know other things other outside of merch by Amazon, um, you guys are welcome to join the group. It's free. Uh, even we can add you guys in there. You guys yeah, add me, and then um, we'll, we'll definitely um, we'll share it with everyone else. Yeah. So and and PM me if, if you have a question or something. I'm happy to help, man. Yeah, man. Duncan's super cool. He's a super Sounds cool guy. Good. All and, right, bro. And I want some of those shoes back there. Yeah, yeah. We'll send you whatever ones you want. Hey, whatever, hey, whatever pair you want, man. Hey, <laughs> what do you got back there? Do you have like some really high end like Jordans or something? What, what do you have? Um, I actually have. Well, I've been trying to get rid of some of these Jordan 11 cleats, and they're not selling right now because they uh -oh. East Bay restocked. Um, Kobe's, um, some Air Command Force. The other ones are just cleats, soccer cleats. That's all I have right now. I'm trying to move them, but patient on the price. We'll see. There's another cat that does that, that Reezy sells or something. I think he does that. You guys yeah, he does it on uh, Amazon. He does more Amazon, yeah. You guys know him? Yeah. yeah. He, he actually lives about 40 minutes south of me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool, man. Well, good luck with that, Glenn. All right. Appreciate it. We'll see uh, pretty soon the webinar, do everything like that, and then get everything ready for uh, the. I guess we'll see what the limited part and see who wants to get in. I know it's going to be super popular, but. Oh, dude. It's going to be, a, gonna, gonna be, a, it's yeah. gonna be like Black Friday. Watch. I know, I know, yeah, it's going to be insane. Yeah. Well, listen, man. If there's any value that I can add into you guys tribe and your audience and stuff like that. If there's anything that I can do to help out, um, I'm not just here to promote the software, either one of the software. I'll, I'll hop on these things with you guys whenever I have time. Oh, yeah, man. And, and I can totally vouch for him. Duncan's super cool. We talk all the time. And, uh, and and I always joke, man. I mean, you know, I talk to you guys more than I freaking talk to my family, and it's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, man. It just, I, I need to talk to my folks more. Mother's <laughs> Day this weekend, y'all. Don't forget. It is Mother's Day. Damn it. <laughs> <sighs> All right, right, man. Listen, you guys go do your thing. Thanks again for having me, and uh, good luck with everything. Great interview, as always. Duncan came through. Uh, cool guy. Um, what do you think? This thing is going to explode, so we know everyone's going to want to get in on this thing. I don't. I mean, we didn't talk pricing. We didn't talk anything else yet. But you, you already know it's going to be like, I want in on this. Um, <laughs> like, like, I'm... I'm, I'm in the dark myself as far as what the pricing is going to be yeah i mean in the past we we had talked about it right um um you know they they, they had mentioned some numbers and um you know uh, so some i thought was a little too high 
but um so i don't know um i'm, I'm in the dark as far as what they're going to charge um but uh yeah so that'll be on the 17th webinar um 700 people registered but duncan he said there's only going to be a hundred hundred uh slots open so this basically sounds like it's, it's a lottery almost right yeah, not only that, it's just, I mean, I, I like that it is exclusive, but at the same time, I mean, who knows when, like, what kind of steps they're going to do to get more people in slowly, or if that's it. I mean, we don't really know yet, but I don't know. Let's see how, let's see how it plays out. Like I said, there's still going to, of course, going to be bugs to everything to kind of figure out in the very beginning, but um, I like that there's just new tools. People are creating new things like this, helps it easier mm -hmm. to get in other platforms, and I have to do this you know, one thing at a time and one listing at a time. And right. I, don't know, and I, I, I will say this. Okay. If you guys think that the orbit kit, that the price is going to be like 10, $20 a month, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be much higher than that. And, um, you know, if you're going to complain about the price, well then you should just stick to your old ways of hiring VAs and pay three, $400 uh, for your VA. You know, we're providing you guys an opportunity for a product that can save you a lot more money in the long run. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I do know for a fact, it's going to be more than, uh, 10, $20. Okay. So just want to keep, you know, just want to mention that, you know, just, just be aware. It's not going to be what you consider cheap. Right. So, um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to be watching it just like everyone else. Have you registered? No, I haven't registered. Uh -uh. Where you been, man? Dude, people I'm, asking about you. Come I know. On. I'm gonna be. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be out of town during that time. Where you going? I, now I'm going to DC. Good God! I know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so um, um, I'll be watching just like everyone else. I had to register, um, but um, yeah. So um, I'll be there with everyone else, and then Princey. Um, we'll have all that in the show notes. We'll have that, Glenn. I'll I'll give you the links to put in your YouTube channel. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean it's just a matter of luck, I guess, right? Sign up for the webinar, and then if you guys are quick enough to uh, purchase it, um, um, good for you. O otherwise, um, I'm sure at some point in the near future they'll have another one, another webinar, and they'll do another release. We'll see. Yeah, yes, sir. Cool, man. Well, hey, have fun in in DC. Um, it's gonna be hot this time of the year, man. Oh yeah, I'm going. Um, wait, oh, yeah, I'm going next Thursday. So we'll we'll talk by then. But I don't know. Okay, we'll figure it out. All right, cool, my man. We'll talk soon. All right, see ya.